All right, let's get started. I have a tutorial for you on how to hash out an air fuel ratio target table in Tuner Studio, AKA Megasquirt. Uh, you can also use this in many other softwares, but we're gonna show you how to hash out a safe air fuel ratio table um, for pump gasoline. If you stick around later into the video, I can show you a little bit more information on how you can use this to make a target air fuel ratio uh, table for any fuel and how that works uh, using a lambda equivalence. But anyway, let's jump right into it. For most people running uh, a turbocharged engine on Megasquirt, we're gonna wanna be very safe, especially if you don't have access to a dyno, we wanna be very rich as we go up in boost levels. Um, and so what you can do when you look at uh, you know air fuel ratios is you can look at them as a percentage of rich or lean compared to that fuel's stoichiometric value. So here I have a little table um, that shows some stoichiometric values of uh, gasoline, gasoline with 10% ethanol, which is actually what most pump fuel is in North America. I know a lot of people here, the 14.7 to one, um, for pure gasoline, but most fuel in North America is oxygenated and it has like eight to 10% of ethanol in it, at least from what I've seen on my, um, ethanol content sensor. And that means that the, uh, the Lambda value one or the equivalence uh, or the, uh, the stoichiometric ratio for that fuel is 14 to one. Uh, so we're actually going to use this 14 to one as our um, as our base lambda or uh, stoichiometric value for this fuel. Okay, so basically uh, you can take this and by timesing it by 0 0.95, 0 0.90, 0 0.85, 0 0.80, 0 0.75, we can find a percentage of rich of, of richness. So if you use a percentage calculator, for those that aren't good with math in their head, you can take 14.7, uh, we'll just give this an example, uh, the stoichiometric ratio for pure gasoline. And if we want to be 15% richer, we can hit calculate and it will give us 12.49 or 12.5. So you'll, you'll hear this a lot of time, like under boost, you know, a certain boost level, oh, target a 12.5 um, air fuel, or, you know, a lot of the times if we're going uh, even more than that, you want to be a lot more rich than that under heavier boost, you know, an 11.8, target an 11.8. Basically what I'm trying to explain is we need to go richer as we go up in boost pressure and we can use a scaling factor um, in percentage to determine that. Uh, I'm not very good at explaining that, but basically uh, we can just hash in these values real quick and you can see um, kind of how easy it is. So if we start with the richest value, we wanna be 25% richer than stoichiometric, uh, which would give us a 10.5 air fuel ratio. We can just throw that in up here at the top. So we can just go all the way across, do 10.5, hit enter, okay? Now, under lighter boost conditions, uh, say like one bar of boost, with 14 PSI of boost, uh, we can actually have a little bit less boost pressure, or sorry, a little bit less um, fuel in there, uh, still erring on the side of caution. We can go and say, okay, I wanna target um, an 11.8 or 11.9 air fuel ratio. So that gives us 15% um, richer than stoichiometric. So we'll come in here and we'll just say, let's go 11.8, so 11.8, okay. All right, and then at 100 kPa, so this would be the, you know, the top of the atmosphere, naturally atmosphere, or naturally aspirated engine uh, running range, we wanna probably be somewhere in like the 10% richer, 10 to 15% richer, uh, depending on, you know, how good your fueling is, a 12.6 will probably be fine. 
if uh, your whole setup is really good. But if you, you know, if you have a motor that's just naturally aspirated and you're going to be out flogging it, maybe drifting it, giving it uh, a hard time, you want to err on the side of rich, especially until you can uh, get that motor on a dyno. So uh, I would actually probably almost lean towards uh, closer to a 12.0. Um, but a 12.6, if everything's right and you don't have any issues and every cylinder is getting that that 12.0, or sorry, that 12.6 uh, air fuel ratio should be fine. So let's just come in here and let's just give it a 12.6. Okay. And then the rest of the table, um, everything down here below about 80 kPa, we can just give it stoichiometric, which is 14 for our uh, oxygenated pump fuel. And what's cool about this is I can start up here, go between these two values. So I highlight between the 10.5 and the 11.8, making sure to highlight those, drag it all the way over, and just hit vertical interpolate. It's over here. And just hit that, and it fills it in. So it finds the values in between and just slowly gets richer as it goes up. Um, same with between the one bar of boost and the naturally aspirated zone, and I can hit vertically interpolate. And then right here, I can do the same. I can go between this 14.0 and the 100 kPa zone and hit vertically interpolate right there. Okay, and so right there, we have created a target air fuel table that should be safe for pretty much any engine as long as uh, you know ignition timing and everything else is safe you can use these general values these percentages um, of richness compared to stoichiometric to tune an engine and probably have a safe bet that everything will survive um, you know as long as you are as your setup is working correctly. Thanks for hanging in with me. I hope this explanation um, was clear enough and helped some of you guys get this hashed out for a base tune on your engine. Uh, like I said, don't use this as gospel, but it definitely works and it will get you by for uh, getting a tune hashed out.